Hello there, this is Dr. Kushbu Shah. Um, I'm an Access Consciousness Facilitator, founder of Earthlings. I talk to the Entities Facilitator and today, um, as usual, it's a Monday and I, I want to talk about uh, inspirations from the Earth. Um, today I'm going to invite a dear friend of mine, um, co-facilitator, dear friend Dr. Charu uh, Chopra. She is somewhere in Bhintal, somewhere in the mountains and she's literally in the middle of nature. So I thought it'd be great to invite her in and have a conversation about inspirations from the earth. Um, you can't hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Great to know. I hope you guys can hear me. Okay, cool. So I think my uh, headphones didn't connect properly. So welcome, Charu. And for today's edition of Inspirations from the Earth, I'm going to invite uh, Charu, Dr. Charu Chopra, who's also an Access Consciousness facility, an amazing friend of mine, who is somewhere in the uh, in the mountains in Bhintal. And I thought it'd be great to invite her and just have a conversation about nature and Earth while she's there. So I'm just going to invite her right now. Oh, she's... Oh. So every Monday, I come on and we speak a little about some inspiration that I got from the planet. And today here... Hi, Charu! Oh. <laughs> What's up? I think I'm so happy you're here and you said yes for this. Uh, we don't have too yeah. many people online right now, but they'll watch it later. Whoever wants to watch it. I think really have That's a absolutely okay. I just want to really have a chat with you while you're there. So where are you right now? For everybody to know. Uh, I'm just... <laughs> I'm in Bhimtar. And yes. uh, it's one of the most beautiful properties that I'm living. Like I'm staying okay. in. Actually, okay. if I talk about beautiful, it's really connected to... Like we the, on the backside of this cottage, there's a deep, dense forest that we go for a walk every day um, can you hear me i can i can i'm listening to you yes mm. so what is so yeah yeah this cottage is 170 years old and i wonder how you found that one <laughs> good i actually so the idea of doing this is you know like just just talking about certain inspirations from the earth because the earth like if you're listening to it, if you're just like observing it, um, if you're being there, so tell me one thing that you'd like to talk about today. Like what it, what has the earth gifted to you today, or what would you like to talk about? Like especially when you go out in the forest. Like um, if you want to talk about it. Then why do you enjoy it? <laughs> Yeah, so it's quite interesting because when you asked me in the morning about this call and I was like, sure, let's just do it. And it's nice. I had no clue you were there. I was just like, what would be fun? And yeah, then... and clearly you're not aware. Absolutely. You have these random <laughs> bombs that you drop in my <laughs> universe. Let's just do this. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so I was going for the walk and I kept connecting with Earth and... So there can I ask you one thing? thing? When you say connecting yeah. with the earth, for a lot of people, you know, like what we say makes complete sense. Like I know what connecting with the earth means to you, me. But for someone who's like a novice at these things, someone who's just uh, listening to these things, what do you mean by connecting to the earth? Like what do you do? If there was a few yeah. tips that you wanted to okay, give someone. Okay, if I say like in like, a very layman language, like, yeah. you know, when we go for the walk, so I had a couple yeah. of people with me when we were walking and everybody has a different way of walking on that earth. And one yeah. is just walking and have no connection and oh, yeah, it's nice and it's nice and it's nice. And, yeah. and when I would ask, so what's so nice about it? And that's where they had to like really get present to what is so nice about it. And then, hmm, oh, I feel so relaxed here. Oh, there is no thought here. Oh, yeah. uh, it's just so much of space. And do you want to do it? And nobody wanted to check their phones. Nobody wanted to do anything. 
Yeah. And I said, hey, if and I we kept talking. A lot of us were talking, and I said, hey, what would you like to really do today? And they were like, nothing. If given a choice, if given a if given a choice, I don't want to do anything right now. I just want to yeah. be here. Yeah. 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 And and nobody wanted to come back and yeah. do something. And yeah. every time they would tap in that, oh, they want to go back home. Is where whole catch 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 things are lined up. Yeah, yeah. Now, what allowed me to look at it is, like, in a layman language, I would say, not even what we do in access, but it's yeah. also, like, the more they are connecting with them themselves, it's like recharging how we charge our phone, yeah. and then the phone can work for longer. It's like battery charging yourself, and yeah. that's what a lot of us were getting through that when when the question. Was put on. Oh, it's nice. What is nice here? Yeah. And that's what connecting, like it's really list. And then going into deeper into, hey, can you receive? Can you listen? What Earth is so dynamically talking. And yeah. as we moved it with every patch, every patch has a had a different energy. There was a sense of like there was a time when we were so joy. Today, the place where I went to, there was so much joy. There was so much joy that I was just giggling, and there were beings of light. And I was like, I I lay down and I started like really doing a lot of like you know really relaxing into receiving. Yeah. And then there were places where I could perceive the intensity, the density, where. probably people have moved and where the stuff has happened on that part of the land so yeah. there were a lot of subtleties which i could perceive while walking on like walking through the forest also like one something which very beautifully showed up was so i was having a conversation with somebody and uh, they said hey don't you miss a partner don't you miss somebody to be with and i said no i don't miss and i was like hey so what do you miss so they said the nurturance the kindness and i said what if that earth is actually giving you but because you have a point of view that only it can come in a body and boom the world exploded they said shit we never risk. we never looked at it from that space and there's so much joy that the earth is really nurturing and caring and there's like just melting it's just melting Yeah. No, I get it. I completely get it. Like, ah, oh, when I'm when when I'm meditated, when I want like my space, so one thing I do is maybe just go out for a walk with my dog. But the guy I stay, it's actually it's not very congested. So it's nice to just go out and be around the trees and stuff like that. You stay in a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> what else is possible? But like just being with the tree, the the it's just it It, it kind of like all your thoughts and all that kitch 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 that you that that you like listen to when there are when you know from our everyday life and when I, when there are so many people it just suddenly just shifts and all it takes is like five or ten minutes of it like it literally takes just five ten minutes of just like tuning into this thing and everything sort of melts and everything sort of all that crazy mind chatter stops and then suddenly I am. so willing to be aware of everything and i'm not uh, like trying to sleep or blah 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 so what i wanted to ask was what are your three tips like if you are going out for a nature trek or if you want to go out like what are your three tips because i see so many people looking at it as an as an escape and they go and then they come back not like they're sort of recharged but they're unhappy like yeah. a part of them is very unhappy that they've come back but for me it's it's not it's like such an inspiration i enjoy living in the city like i love i love the fact that i can go out and do certain things i love it's, nature as well <laughs> and i love the like i love that as well and so what are your three like what if so here so what are your three tips like if you if you want using nature as an escape but as an inspiration to live to mm. and, to really live to have that embodiment and the joy of embodiment what are your three tips i hope you oh have whatever comes out of your mind yeah what you think tips is like really difficult 
But yeah, maybe not three. Whatever. But I would put like I can put it in analogy. Lot of stuff, and then probably people can figure out. Yeah. So yeah. we were walking, and there were different kind of trees yeah. growing at different levels. There were different, lot of small plants, the big trees, uh, the different colors, the different shapes. Um, there was a lot of chaos in nature. Yeah. And still, there was so much beauty in it. Yeah. So one of the things that I got from there was hey. There, and there was no need for one tree to be like the other one exactly thank you yeah there was no need yeah. for this the taller tree to tell the smaller tree to grow up yeah and there was no need for anything to change in that chaos yes yeah. so there is no need to change anything in chaos there was just this it's amazing like i wish you guys yeah. if you get like the depth of it there was no need for anything to change in chaos awesome the second thing which i really got was you know how you were talking like when you are in the city there's this kich 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 there there is every time your mind is like so there with so many thoughts yeah. and then when you come to nature just get present that do you still have those thoughts and if you don't have then a lot of it is what we pick up when we go to yeah. cities yeah. and one of the tools that dynamically i got like i really got the tool of who does this belong to yeah. while going to this to the walk and yeah. realizing that i don't have a thought here right now yeah. and when i go out in the city i just pick up yeah. so once i have a sense of me the lightness the space and no thought feeling emotion is what i can take to the city yeah. and use it that oh this is my reality and all i'm aware is around what goes on around in the city and that's okay yeah exactly Again, no okay. it's not your it. you don't have to make it your problem you are just aware of everybody's thoughts feelings emotions right so we use the tool who does this belong to like just to become aware of it this is not you it's mine yeah awesome. yeah who does this belong to is like one amazing tool yeah. that i got a lot when i move in nature okay yeah. so like really getting present to the subtleties of it yeah the other thing which actually which i would say is which is i think is little difficult is just go beyond the normal uh it's okay to go beyond your routines at times and it's still a choice that one has to make it may be a difficult one like today it rained it was really cold today really yeah. we were freezing and still we we asked our bodies would we like to go out and the bodies were like yes totally okay, let's go out for <laughs> a walk and going out for a walk today was like absolutely the most relaxing walk that i went through so asking your body what it really desires to do and if you can't do it fully what like you know when we are in city we have the routines and no i have to go to the office no i have to send my child to the school there are a couple of have tos but still in between if you can find patches for yourself to ask yeah. what does my body wants to do today what does my body require today where would my body like to be maybe just a 10 minutes walk maybe yeah. just sipping that coffee but looking at some tree some part of the some part of earth yeah and it just tuning into that yeah awesome yes That's you great. asked for three tips so i gave the yeah. three tips it is amazing <laughs> thank you for coming up i'm sorry i put you on the spot like ah, ah. wait no, I, knew, I love it i knew you tap into your awareness and just give us information for sure like so but no need for change in the middle no need uh no need no need for in the middle of chaos yeah like no needs second was really becoming aware of look those thoughts that you think are yours are not even yours like that's what that's one of the biggest gifts that nature gives you hey guess what it's just other stuff and that you're aware of so really using who does this belong to um as a tool uh and what was the third thing i'm so sorry 
this is how my my i have like the memory tune in and ask your body yeah. ask yeah. your body what your body would like to do today uh, today just don't and get into in the, the middle of the routine like i have to do this to if i really relaxed relaxed myself yeah. into what would that create yeah awesome yeah like for and example breathe. like <laughs> i can't tell you how much i am breathe which is deep <laughs> yeah. deep how much breathing like i came from delhi i my throat was choked yeah. i had bad cold and cough and i i and i have some people from delhi and they are like as if it seems the layers of pollution are just melting here melting. in nature yeah it's so breathe it's available the air is available just breathe Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Is this, can we see more of your more of the dal? Sure. I'm sure. <laughs> so this is like a place where I'm staying, yeah. Yeah. and you can see the mountains. Yeah. How does it get better than that? Beautiful. And even wherever you are, you can just tap into those trees. just like relax and tap into the trees and see if that helps um thank you so much so inspirations from planet and these are great tips charu thank you so much yeah is there anything else you would like to talk about or anything that you'd like to say i uh, was having a conversation again and i was like whatever you are asking for guys it's all there just just yeah. Get o- just breathe. get over with fail, and it's there. Just breathe and receive. You know yeah. there is this whole like I'm consciously practicing to still demand more and still have acknowledgement and gratitude of what's available. Because with what foundation you are asking more is what is going to get created. So if you're asking from a foundation or oh, I don't have this and I would like to have that already getting created from this when when you ask from the space of what you already have it starts expanding from the space of an abundance that you have it just ask for more yeah yeah ask for more like the earth doesn't stop ask for more yeah like ask for more <laughs> as 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 opposite as what most people say you know like we have whatever everything the way we will ask for more ask <laughs> so what do you not ask uh, for uh, like you asked today would give you everything you've been asking for <laughs> anything just ask yeah. like when i go, walk on the uh, when i walk in the forest and i look at like some unique tree i say okay i like to have that uniqueness that this tree has then i walk and there are there are some beautiful red leaves that are falling on the uh path yeah. they don't have a point of view oh shit i have fallen now yeah they're just there and they beautify the path yeah okay and then they go back into the earth and then it recycles and then you get something else like it's always It's always such a joy to watch the cycles of the earth, and and the thing that you mentioned like two three times is the diversity. It's the the biodiversity. Like a a forest is truly thriving when you see like a biodiversity in 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 the kind of yeah. trees that there are in the kind of animals like the flora and fauna, and when it becomes this. and in in fact that's why these plantations these huge plantations of the same tree you don't see a lot of biodiversity the ones that are man made so that that's actually a, like a process of self destruction <laughs> the being you yeah, the but i also saw are, the beauty yeah but i also saw the beauty like you know i was really observing like the same kind of tree but how different they are they are exactly uh, you know Like and no we were, because we were having the same either, you know, like no, no two. Like we were having this conversation around family, uh, yeah. how every like we were actually saying, okay, this is my this family member, like how everybody is so different, and how there is 
in only here when we talk about humans there is yeah. a need for everybody to be like each other yeah. rather yeah. than actually <laughs> you have to and we know body. that we are unique yeah. Yeah. every time we are being different we are asked to not be that difference but our difference is what creates that whole nature which we see that you know imagine ev- like if you just see all the green trees of same size and same leaves right yeah. but when you see and the it's difference like scientifically prove it like those plantations which which are man made which have the same trees of the same kind are actually not a thriving process like there is very little biodiversity that is actually a path towards destruction but when there's a patch of like the yeah, amazon like the actual rainforest like literally 1 meter of a rainforest will have like thousands of different flora and fauna and that's how nature thrives and i think even as us and as humanity as people if we want to thrive we're going to have to really really embrace our difference and stop being trying so, to be so like same. if i convert that yeah so if i convert that in humans uh please do not compare yourself with any <laughs> please yeah. yeah i've done it long sometimes i still end up doing and i keep reminding myself the difference is my uniqueness i can't do things like others because i am not like others yeah. and you don't have to do anything like others because you're not like others just be you be you change the world <laughs> so it's so cool we're talking about this because see we've been doing the money work book class and this thing and yesterday it actually came up in the this thing like how people like you know you compare yourself with people your age and then you compare how much they're making and how much you're making and oh my god i've not reached the same and, and And I was like, yeah, but how can you like they're doing something completely different? Like, how can you compare? You just—it's such a ridiculous thing that we're taught. It's so unlike. It doesn't make sense. They're in a different country. They're following the targets are different. They've chosen. Like, how can you compare? Are you happy today with what you've chosen? I think that's the only. Are you happy? Are you moving towards a space of more and more likeness? Nothing else matters. Like. And like, <laughs> stop comparing. Be the difference you are, and and then the money will flow as well. Like I, I know that's like an additional point, but that is just so. Thank you for bringing it up. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Be the difference that you are, and that is so what nature teaches you. Like every single yeah. Maybe actually we can use that question a lot. What difference I am that I'm not acknowledging? Yeah. <laughs> And what difference, what difference are you that you're not acknowledging? And what yeah. difference is a, what difference I am? That's a gift that universe is asking for. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to talk about more in that? Like, because I always get like people don't think the universe really like the universe is like well, how can I like I'm this tiny little puny thing? What can I contribute with? You can by the difference you be, and what if the difference you be is what's required right now for things to change? Um, mm, it's so difficult to put it in words. The yeah. difference that you be, like yeah. I usually talk, like I give an example of. Uh, you know everybody is in um uh, in the sea drowning yeah and because <laughs> everybody is drowning you are also drowning now you yeah. are one person who has a knowing that i if i get out of that somehow i may be the one who can pull out all of them maybe if, if they, they want to be pulled out again like <laughs> but that becomes a possibility yeah. available to them yeah once but when you are going to pull yourself out you will be judged for it oh you're so selfish oh you're only thinking yeah. about yourself oh you're not thinking about the family oh, oh you're not yeah. thinking about the community the moment you come out it becomes a possibility for them whether they choose or not is their choice yeah but if all of them are there they yeah. do, they are not even aware that there is a possibility that you can get out of that 
exactly yes. and just like you're finally being the inspiration where you go look it's possible it's possible guys you don't have to be in this rut of craziness and yeah. your difference is your knowing your difference is your knowing that do you yeah. know what do you lot of time people say i don't know what do you know what do you cool. know get to that knowing what is the difference of you that you've never acknowledged everywhere you've tried to suppress it will you please and create and destroy it all <laughs> yes please uh, Did I jump get my popcorn online shots person here? Yeah. So what I did right now was just like a little clearing from access. Uh, that gobbledygook sentence is called the clearing statement. Point of the question was to bring up the energy that needs to go away so that you can start being the 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 what you're asking for, the difference that you be. And what the clearing statement does is clears away everything that does not allow you to be the difference. It doesn't make logical sense, but if you'd like more information, go to www.theclearingstatement.com. We put it in the description as well. So, anyway, yeah. So, what difference are you that you've been suppressing? And everything that is that's not being destroyed. Oh, like I'm good, bad, 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 bad. I had to do that. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was in the I end. I wanted that energy to sort of be cleared away immediately. So thank you for talking about it, Charu. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. It's been so wonderful. I in the afternoon I texted you, hey, just beings of light, and I laid yeah. down in one of the places. I started listening to that exercise which Shannon does, beings of light. If you guys have not read her book, please go and read it. If you're going for some. vacation in nature just go and read that book so i heard the 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 audios of beings of light yeah and then i when i woke up after half an hour i was only giggling and i was <laughs> so happy and i am so sorry because i had no reason to be happy. smile and giggle i was just happy i said okay <laughs> I'll have that more universe. No reason to be happy. It's so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Joy is like your natural state. Like, what will it take for us to like embrace it more and more? Like, <laughs> thank you so much. So this conversation was quite full on and packed with a lot of information. Like we started with some of, like some every every part of this conversation has been beautiful so guys please do listen to the whole thing or uh, let me know if this makes sense to you guys because sometimes I, i still don't know if what we speak on instagram makes sense to people um or what we're speaking actually makes sense to everyone watching so i'd like some i mean feedback would be great to know if this is helping y'all if this is contributing if you have specific questions if anything any of any of us you can um you can follow any of us um and ask but thank you so much the earth is awesome enjoy deep dal and uh, i'm going to go out with my dog also for a walk right now i may actually go to the hill so the as an inspiration from charu <laughs> thank cool. you thank you for inviting me kushbu this has been so amazing like i don't like to come much often on social media but you somehow have that energy to pull me on these lives <laughs> i mm. think i only come on lives with you <laughs> yeah yeah good. well awesome i cool awesome like neither do i enjoy it i mean i do but i don't because unless guys it'll be great to have some feedback to be honest because sometimes i feel like I, I, this is great conversation with charu and i can keep talking to her and we can keep talking about nature but this is uh, this is out for y'all um and um, when we get feedback of any kind it gives me gives us a sense of like oh okay cool this is fun for people this is something we can contribute they are getting sure. it yeah yeah And um, I knew this is going to be fun talking to you. So have fun, enjoy your mountains. Thank you. And hopefully, you I'll too. meet you somewhere, somewhere. I'll sometime. see you soon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.